My name is Caroline Phillips, and I've lived in the Basque Country for the past three decades. Um, and I have a digital agency called Pick Digital and a group with my husband here, duo Badaya. I was born and raised in the San Francisco Bay Area to benevolent hippies who taught me to uh, read science fiction and love to play chess. I went to a performing arts high school, but because I was obsessed with languages, I spoke fluent French by the time I was 16, which meant that I moved to Paris. Uh, I know that hair, the 80s hair. Yeah, I moved to Paris to study French, but ended up studying opera and teaching aerobics and singing in jazz clubs to earn a living. Enter the Basque guy, Michel. Hey, we met, fell madly in love, I moved to the Basque country and learned to speak Basque. And so Michelle is the equivalent of like the Basque Paul McCartney, but you know, without the knighthood, you know, yet. So, you know, maybe when the queen sees this. So you know. much younger. Yeah, so much younger, yeah. So you're saying Basque, but isn't that Spain? Yes, you're right. It is Spain. There are four provinces on the Spanish side and three provinces on the French side. Uh, yes, Game of Thrones was partly filmed there. So on the Spanish side, think the running of the bulls, uh, Michelin star restaurants, and the Guggenheim. On the French side, think the, Euro the European capital of surfing, the rolling hills of the Pyrenees, and the Espelette red pepper. What is this? This is the hand of Irulegi, and why is that important? Because we discovered two years ago that Basque was written as early as the first century BC. So where did the Basque come from? Some of the theories by geneticists, scientists, and archeologists think that Basque is the last of a family of languages that were prehistoric. So the Basque tribe would go back to prehistoric times, and the Basques survived the Ice Age. So, and then they repopulated <laughs> most of Europe. So if you're European, you may be Basque. Yes, so that's very, so it's very interesting. Uh, the Basques are very proud of that. So our first song is kind of the Basques' last stand. The Basques have been fighting for centuries to preserve their language, their culture, and their last stand was in the Kingdom of Navarra in 1522, and it's called Amaren Shua.
Continue with my cheesy slides. So fast forward to the 20th century. After the Spanish Civil War and under Franco's regime, speaking Basque and practicing Basque culture was banned. Intellectuals were imprisoned and tortured for their beliefs. ETA Euskadita Ashkatashuna was born in 1959. Our next song is Aitari Kestut. It's from 1974 and it was by Michelle's band, Irobi and it was the first Basque resistance rock song. Sakashik galdu a urnil e chidura Anta chuna i dautzu e neure bihotz mina Izigarria baita gertatzen zautana Aitarik ez dut ama aitzen ari Aurrini agaldiz After Franco's death, um, Basques secured their own region in Spain by 1980, but ETA's violence persisted. Uh, Basque French civil society was instrumental in mediating a ceasefire in 2010, and in 2018, the dissolution of ETA opened the doors to dialogue and further negotiation. I was privileged to participate in the peace movement as the president of the civil society parliament. Our next song emphasizes the, the importance and significance of the written word. In Basque, Hitza Hitz is a sacred promise. Hitza.
Our language is fundamental to Basque identity. Um, nestled in the Pyrenees Mountains, the Basque country has seen many different cultures pass through it, among which are the Romani Gypsies, who decided to stay, learned our language, adopted Basque surnames, and enriched our culture in countless ways. This next song is a tribute to Buhamiak. song is traditional and hails from Shiberua, which is the smallest Basque province. It's a sheep herder song and is a heartfelt tribute to our homeland. So I'm often asked why I live there. I mean, it is beautiful. But, you know, why didn't I go back to America? Maybe I could have been a lot more successful. Whatever. Well, it's pretty simple. Met a guy, fell in love, yeah, it's all his fault. That's what my mother says, you know. Mea culpa, mea culpa. Yeah. But actually, I met a guy, fell in love, fell in love with his culture, his language, and his country, and I made it mine. tarba. <laughs> Sure, sure, ser bucari, nai hi suri, vestimenta bat, pare gabe kum peresi, art sein bate kesh ken sen desu, or hi partu andabisi, e gunoro. Go 
Ogoan sutu, oi gaisho ama euskadi. Hard sein bete kesh ken sendesu, or he var tu anda bisi e gunoros. Ogoan sutu, oi gaisho ama euskadi. Oi gaisho ama euskadi. That was lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we're being pushed for time, but I can't help but to ask just some quick questions. If sure. That's okay. Um, Michelle, your horns there. What are are they made of wood? Yes. Uh, In the mic. Traditionally, obviously, it was a piece of cow horn, and this part and this this one too. But the luthier, the the guy who made a great job the last 10 years to improve the instrument, the luthier is a vegetarian, vegan. So leave the cow in peace and, <laughs> and it's ah. beautiful. He made a, a, a horn about with uh, wood. With wood, wow, amazing. And this piece of as well. Yeah, yeah. and it, the name of it is Alboka, which is interesting because Alboka in Arab, Albuk, and so the Basques made up their own instrument and called it Alboka. And it, hey, we'll just add, you know, the on the end, which is a. So Alboka. So now it's Basque. Right. Cool. Is that is that something that's well known? Would people in the Basque country be very familiar with that? Yeah. Actually? Okay. That's cool. a traditional. Yeah. Horn pipe. Right. And he does circular breathing. Right. So oh, yeah. Right. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, and for the hurdy gurdy, is this something that we could buy on Amazon? Um. Maybe, but <laughs> nothing that's of any good quality. Mine was made in Perigord, so in, oh, wow. in, uh, in France, and it took four years for them to make it for me. Wow, so you ordered it and had to wait four years. Yeah. Golly, okay. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, it's an amazing instrument, and uh, wonderful to see you both again. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I would love to talk more, but um, I'm, being per I'm being persuaded to persuaded. End the session. Well, thank you. And uh, thanks for that beautiful music. And well, great thank to see you. you. And it was yeah. lovely to be here. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah.